When the Moran family moved to Memphis from their hometown of Dalzell, South Carolina, they brought with them a 19 year old Ja, who would soon blossom into the grizzly superstar we all marvel at today. But also along for the ride, his younger sister Tanaya. Up until recently, she played basketball for Houston High School. She is the latest Morant flying under the radar, but with some help from her father, is hoping to be the next one to make it big. Before reaching all-star status on the hardwood, John ja Morant cut his teeth on a much harder surface. I played on concrete all my life. So. <laughs> his father T worked him tirelessly every day in their backyard court. It's how he launched his firstborn to basketball stardom. Now T Come on. is working on another. Knock it down. You have the walls and the roof this time. You don't have to be out in the backyard. All right. Uh, I love the backyard. Meet Tania Morant, a junior at Houston High School and the younger sister of Ja. She stands at five foot seven, but like her brother, her smaller stature doesn't stop her from taking on anyone. In an open gym, she'll seek out games against the boys. Cause I feel like if I can beat a boy, I can definitely beat a girl. Some girls just play basketball for fun. I take basketball serious. A family trait ingrained in South Carolina. In some ways, T says Tanaya is easier to coach than Ja. You just can't make a left hand layup. And you make an excuse about it. She would be out in the back working with Ja, but they took it uh, differently. Like if I fuss at Ja, he'll go tell on me. Tonight I'd be like, oh, whatever, man. You know, she'll have hers and just brush it off. You know, Ja hold his for a minute. Ja was holding a grudge if you were saying something to him? Yeah, he'll be upset and, you know, go tell on me. To your wife? Yeah, tonight I'd just go. Uh, go in the house, change clothes, come back out and watch me work the other kids out like, oh well, put her earphones in. I can take it. Ja couldn't? <laughs> I mean, I, I never knew. I can take it because I know it's just like, you're motivating me to be better. You're helping me be better. Undersized and overlooked, that defined Ja's career before he landed at Murray State. A week shy of her 17th birthday, Good. Tanaya is still waiting on her first offer. Stay with it. Are we starting to see the same story here with Tanaya? It's almost like the same job effect as far as she's wondering, you know, when when are some scholarship offers or, you know, more interest going to come in, you know. But, I mean, just like I told you, you got to do the same thing as far as just put in the work. It'll show. To get there, T has taken an unusual step, pulling his daughter off her high school team mid-season. Good job. He'll train with her instead ahead of this summer's AAU circuit. Good shot. I don't think I saw enough, you know, progress in her game. So, you know, we took a step back. T did the same with Ja when he felt an AAU coach's favoritism was stunting his growth. I was like, you good? He was like, he messed with my confidence. No, go uh, take your uniform off. I can't let nobody mess with confidence. And I think that's what the same thing that was happening with Tanaya. So I saw that cycle again and I was like, nah. I got to protect her from that. So that's another reason why I pulled her like, yo, let's put this work in over here so it'll be seen later on. This happened with, with Ja too, and he's able to get to where he wanted to go. Does that give you like a sense of comfort with what you guys are doing now? He knew it was right in Ja's situation and he knew it was right in my situation. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was losing love for the game, playing school ball. It's like, I felt like there was no hope in me, but him, my mom, my brother, they all make it known that I can get to where I want to be. I just got to work. T is planning to hold camps this summer for Memphis area girls who, like Tanaya, have not had much exposure. Well, good shot. But as the spotlight turns on to the younger Moran, she asks to be able to shine in her own light. I don't want people to compare me to him just because he's him. I mean, yeah, we work out together, we do whatever together, but like, I'm still my own person at the end of the day. Her path, her story, her turn. In Cordova, I'm Clayton Collier. One. One. Two, good shot.